All right, this is an experiment. What I did was I took some parchment paper, which is easy to come by at any grocery store, and I covered it with, uh, you know, this green painter's tape, and it doesn't really want to stick to the parchment paper, so it's going to be a really good release paper. And what I'm going to do is just take this guy and, you know, this is kind of a one-time deal in terms of how many times I can use the tape. But when it matters, when surface quality matters, and in this case, the way I look at it, you know, I want the surface quality to be nice and opaque as far as painting around these circles. But I can tell right now that when you're painting around something, it's, it's, it just kind of looks like you're painting around it and you get all these marks, brush marks. So I'm going to try this and see if it works. This is my original Bristol stencil that I cut out of just the Bristol board. It's Strathmore Bristol board two ply. And I use this a lot to make my own stencils. And you can, you know, the good thing is you can use your stencils again and again. You don't have to buy them. So I'm just cutting, I'm gonna cut around each one of these guys and then place that on the painting. And then once I stick the tape onto my painting, I'll be able to get a nice even coat around all these circles instead of trying to paint around them, which drives me crazy. I really don't like to paint around things too much if it's gonna be really strokey. So we'll see if this works. I really don't know if it is. I have to cut these out with a pair of scissors, but this could also be a really great tip if it works. So wish me luck on that. Okay, so there's the circles and you can see them really well. Now, because the uh, parchment paper does not really like to have the, um, just seeing if this is dry yet, doesn't like to have the tape on there, like it's gonna be really happy when I, peel it off. I'm going to just take a pair of scissors here um, and cut, just start with one, see how that goes. Because if it doesn't work with one, it won't work with any of them, obviously. Um, but the good thing is that I can, I can cut and get a really nice edge on here. Very easy to cut it out because the parchment paper has no thickness to it. I just want to see if it's going to release from the parchment paper. Okay, so there's one. Here's the painting. And here's the back side. There it goes. Yeah, it's pretty easy to peel it off, even with my clunky gloves on. Okay, so it's nice and sticky, and I get to save my shape. So. I put that on here and it should stick pretty well because I don't think there's any you just want to really get those edges I should have done this first but I didn't think of it so that's okay and then you've got like this negative shape which could be very cool um, but I'm gonna save these for later because these could be handy later so now I just have to cut all these guys out Save these scraps for later. There's a pile. Now I take these guys and I think the paint's pretty dry since I used a hair dryer. I take these gloves off because it's always hard to peel the backs off with gloves on. But they just want to come right off, I think, pretty much. The cool thing is um, by doing this, it gives me a lot more potential to. Um, play with the background, um, the negative painting, the negative area around the circles. I couldn't really do that if I'm trying to focus on, you know, preserving each one of these shapes. But now, now that I have it blocked out, I'll show you the difference. <laughs> Gives you a lot more latitude when it comes to the negative space. Here, that's nice. I like that it's creamy. All right, now, since I've got it on my brush, now that I said I'm gonna use a sponge too, I might as well just use my brush. Um, you can just go over the whole thing without worrying about those circles anymore. And it should be a lot nicer because it's, it's more opaque. 
it's a totally like if I just do half of this first to start out with plus I did tint it you can see the difference between this side and that side it's definitely gone creamy it's like a um, pale buttery color I mean that's the freedom that this tape gives you is you don't have to worry about and look at how fast I can go so if I just put that tape on in the first place <laughs> I could have gone a lot faster um, so notice the difference in opacity between this surface and that this is all like it looks crazy and it's it's um, still very chaotic so I like that and I'm gonna put this on the other side as well okay so we're gonna we're gonna fast forward here <laughs> And I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I have a very pointy pair of tweezers, which I love for this kind of thing. I'm peeling off that tape uh, after I've painted over it, you know. And again, the mask allowed me to paint freely over the tape. I didn't have to paint around the grid, uh, you know trying to be so careful about all these little circles um, so that's the advantage of having the mask is that uh, once you mask out the shapes of areas you want to save in your painting whether they're circles whatever it might be whatever shape it might be in whatever painting whatever medium um, so that's what I did I, I made a grid out of the uh, little tape circles painted over it now I peeled them off and now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of applying the final touches that I want to feature. So yes, I have a grid, and yes, I have color in each one of the little circles, and they're all different. As you can see, as I develop the painting, you know, some circles will stand out more than others, and that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't, you know, the whole point of this, uh, the underpainting I did, uh, whether you saw it or not, uh, I laid down a lot of collage material. I didn't, I didn't plan. Um, that was my play stage, and you know, part of this is just the the fun of when you peel the tape back. What are you going to get? And then when you see what you have, you want to keep it. Do you want to get rid of it? Do you want to change it? And now I'm just adding little details. You know, the foundation is there. Everything I'm doing right now has to do with the fine details. But as you can see. The structure's there, the foundation's there, the value pattern is already developed. All I'm doing right now is working on those final touches to give a little bit more interest to the quiet area. There's a lot of quiet area in this painting because when I blocked out the circles, I painted everything white. 